I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog.stampwithelaine.com YouTube channel. I just realised that here in the UK, Father's Day is this Sunday, uh, June the 21st. So it seems appropriate that we, this week's video should be a masculine card. This is what we're going to make. It's just a variation of it in a different colour. And it's got this special closure. So I'll show you how to make it. It uses the Bohemian Designer Series paper. And I just wanted to point out that this year Stamping Up has offered with together with the DSP packs, uh, it's an optional extra. You can buy the Bohemian cardstock pack. So they've picked out three colours that coordinate with the designer series pack and given you eight sheets uh, of each colour, making up 24 sheets in a pack. But if you need more than uh, eight sheets of the one colour, then they still have the single packs that holds 24 sheets in each pack available. This is the Bohemian Designer pack, 12, by, 12 sheets of 12 by 12, two each of each design. And then on the reverse side, I think the colours are Rich Razzleberry, uh, Bermuda Bay, Island Indigo, um, Dijon, Delightful Dijon. To make this card you'll need uh, the Guy Greeting stamp set. This has been carried over from um, our spring summer catalogue. And as we're on a Bohemian theme, I'm also using this stamp set called Bohemian Borders. Both sets are photopolymer, so you will need clear blocks to mount your stamps on. We also need our th uh, Circle Thin Let's Dies, a Bermuda Bay and Delightful Dijon ink pads, two inch circle punch and a piercing mat on which to stamp simply scored board as well. First you need to cut your cardstock. This is Bermuda Bay and the card base is five and three quarter inches by seven and a half inches and in centimetres that's 14.6 by 19 centimetres. Then you need two sheets of Whisper White cut at three inches by five and a half inches and in centimetres that's 7.6 by 14 centimetres. You also need some spare cardstock in Whisper White, Bermuda Bay and Delightful Dijon. First we need to bring our scoreboard in and with the long side on top, the seven and a half inch side on top, you need to score at three and a quarter inches. Then you fold the card And you need to score at three and a quarter inches, three and three eighth inches, and three and a half inches. And, um, these little lines here, it just means that you can bend the cardstock uh, much easier when you're opening the card front. There's a lot more give. Next we bring our piercing mat in. This acts as a cushion for the photopolymer stamps because there's no cushion on photopolymer stamps and it just gives better ink coverage. So copy paper on top to protect my mat and then I'm going to be using this image, that and that one to make my border uh, for this I'm going to need my Bermuda Bay and Delightful Dijon. Stamp that on the bottom. 
and because I'm lazy I'm going to stamp that on top at the same time so I don't have to change ink pads too frequently do the same for the other card then we're going to stamp the car now because there are so many images that come with this set the pictures on the front aren't actually the same size they're sort of reduced in size so that they could fit it all in I <coughs> just thought that uh, might be a bit of useful information for you now we need to use our circle frame that's to, to cut uh, the image with so I'm using counting from the smallest outwards to the largest um, it's the third and fourth circles in the set so bringing my magnetic platform base cutting plate cardstock the smallest the third, no, the fourth uh, circle die. Now this won't cut out all the image. It will cut off, um, cut off a bit of the car, but it doesn't really matter. And then top cutting plate, and we're running. Uh, we we're ready to run it through the big. So I've gone ahead and cut a delightful Dijon circle with the fifth largest circle on the circle frame that dies and now I need to punch out a two inch circle in Bermuda Bay so that I can mat the car to it. Last fuse car on there so it leaves a tiny little rim round it. A bit of fast fuse on the back of this. Just got a bit more stamping to do. Happy Father's Day. I think I'll do that in Bermuda Bay. Oh there's a little tip. It's best to actually we need to attach one of the pieces onto the front of the card. So the best way to do it is this way. So then you can see you want to leave an eighth of an inch border all round. And do the same for the inside. To attach three dimensionals to the back of the car image and you want it on the right side facing you on the right side of the circle take the backing off and then I position it so that it's flush with the side of the card and the top of the circle is in line with the top of the Whisper White cardstock. So there you have your closure and you've also got a guideline as to where to stamp your greeting. So bring back my piercing mat and my scratch paper my card we use Bermuda Bay ink happy Father's Day 
yeah, I've smudged it a bit there. Open up the card. World's greatest. I think we're going to have to cover up that smudge. So, bit of DSP. And there you have it. You will find all the supplies I used available at my online store, uh, which you can find via my blog.stampwithelaine.com. Just click on the shopping cart in the right hand column of my blog. You can also connect with me through my Facebook page or my YouTube channel here at stampwithelaine.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and I'll be back with more inspiration another time. Thanks for watching. Bye.